doing well. See, I remember when I first started doing all this, I was thinking, I might, you know, see if I can talk to an Ascended Master. And after a mm. while, I was like, why don't any of them want to talk to me? <laughs> I like that. Because well, they're not fucking real. <laughs> but do you know so you really kind of... You really think that they're not real? I look at them as like, you know, graduates of a high school and they're kind of, you know, haven't quite let go of the high school. Let me rephrase it all. I do believe that there are people that have mastered the reality. As far as calling them ascended masters, for me it sounds like they're not of this realm. They're out of here. And they're somehow sitting out there waving at me. Hello. No, I need mastery in this realm here and now. So unless Mm -hmm. they're walk and talk and or want to have a little hello, you know, let's go for coffee, I'm not interested. I don't think that they're relevant to where I'm in my own sense of self. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a big one. But I don't. No, I like that. And you know what? I challenge any Ascended Masters out there, hey! (laughs) (laughs) Prove yourself, bitches. (laughs) I just... I, what I mean is trying to find an ascended master out there, who cares? I'm a mm. fucking master in here. I've got it going on. Why do I need another one outside telling me what to do and a man no less? Don't you love how yeah. most of them are men? There's just the occasional yes. like Kwan Yin or fucking, you know, Lady Nada. Lady think? Nada or something. Oh, of course, yeah. Mother Mary, but, you know, it's like, mm. nah, I'm not playing that game. I know. I find that um, back before I found this kind of work of really um, – being on the trail for my own self-mastery within this realm, I did, I revered all the Ascended Masters. Like, you know, I bought the books and I read up all sure. that, I was calling sure, on I had them pictures on all of that. You know, like, yeah, dude. Well, I didn't even until quite recently, as you know, you know, with the the, the, the calm. With our dude, friend, really, anyway. with the man with, with many Yeah, cars. exactly. Um, oh, fuck, what was I going to say? Oh, but then I realised that, it was, again, something outside of myself. Again, something that I was drawing yeah. on that wasn't... Someone's got to save me. Someone's got to within. tell me. Someone's got to verify it for me. Oh, exactly. A, a, an ascended male master must be one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know? And it's not that I discredit anything. I do think kind of there's got... a Kuan Yin out there. I do think there's hmm. a presence of Kuan Yin. I'm not saying... But I think she's more of a goddess energy, you know, like a feminine yeah. essence than necessarily, you know, a walking, talking chick with flicks. <laughs> you know, <don't, laughs> I think, you know, I definitely think that there is a an energy associated with Lady Kuan Yin, right? Yeah. But as far as an ascended master goes, I just, what, I, I can't imagine her striding in in a pair of jeans and a jeans jacket going, all right, boys, load her up. <laughs> <laughs> No. Yeah. I imagine her as part of the earth's, you know, just this beautiful, glorious vastness of feminine mm. compassion. You know, like that just is very benevolent mm-hmm. and um for want of a better word, neutral. Yeah. You know? So yeah, as far as like a who are, who are these Ascended Masters' names? Well, St. Germain, don't even go there. Uh, um, who else have we got? El oh, El Mariah. That's right. There's El, El Mariah. Mariah. There's a um, Katumi, Master Katumi. I always thought he was hot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he was in the picture. <laughs> I like that. Well, there was Jesus Christ. Oh, as well. Of course, of course. Mm-hmm. He's got his own show. Um, yeah. But I never um, think of him as an Ascended I, Master, see? Because, you know, I always think of that as the Sananda part of him and you know it's all very I don't know I just it's like a dogma it's outside of yourself it's waiting to be saved yeah go within fucking find your own mastery yeah I I totally agree with that because I feel because I find that the way they are revered at least in the way that I've experienced them with other people is that they are so much greater and they can teach us everything well then why don't they energy and blah, 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 blah. And it's, I know, I just found it so. Are they so far just, above us? Are they so ascended that they can't come down to us? Frankly, well, that's the me, kind of being able to go into any fucking dimension. Yeah. Well, the right. thing is, so where the fuck are the, they? The, the, well, that's it. The onus isn't actually on or the focus isn't on 
you you as a master it's on them as a master and we worshiping them or we we bring them in mm. you know utilizing something outside of us in order to gain mastery and that's not how it works in in the way that i've experienced you know absolutely. elements of mastery absolutely i'm just seeing it really as a great big archon program Wow. Fucking Isn't that fucking stone stoned to death in a fucking arena right now? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I just think. Holy crap. Uh, nah. Look, there are living saints. I've seen living masters. Let's talk about them. They're the ones that can teach yeah. us. They're the ones that can inspire us. These fuckers that are floating around, what, in another dimension? If you can't come down here and play with the rest of us in the front lines, then fuck off. Mm. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of irrelevant, isn't it? It's right. like they're actually irrelevant. If they can't come through totally. here and actually totally. have, a, have a tangible, it's like then they're irrelevant. I'm not saying that they're useless in the sense that they have no purpose. It's just that in I'm the saying they don't exist. In this reality, they have actually, I would have to go in and completely check in order to say you are right, <laughs> but I. I'm saying but, my experience is yeah, they yeah. don't exist. There's a fallacy. I'm not saying that there are not masters. There are definitely beings that have mastered this reality. But yeah. I am saying that little click of ascended masters that seems to be the whole new age fucking dogma, bullshit, bullshit, have a look at who's pulling the strings. Mm, oh, light bulb moments. Hello, Mrs. Edison. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that? Yeah, yeah. Um, so, I mean, yeah. you know, your best defence is you. Not running to an ascended master, not running to see, oh, is this an ascension symptom? You know, your best fucking defence is you getting in there, connecting with your truth, your essence, yourself, and mm-hmm. sitting in it and realising what is the illusion. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Of yeah, it's an illusion that that's real, but there's also another few things woven into that illusion, people. Yeah, and then it becomes fun. Yeah, it still sucks every now and then, but it actually becomes fun to see it how it all works, and to see everything sort of play out. It becomes a bit of a game, to a degree. I mean, when I'm in it and it feels like shit, then I really want it to go away. But you know, when I look at it from yeah. a, you know from in it. It's actually quite interesting. <laughs> Sorry, I was thinking yeah. about something else while you were talking at the same time. If I looked like I was very vague. Sorry about that. Uh, All good. I, I, was, All I, was good. So, I was so present for you, Ascended Master Teresa. <laughs> but do you know what I mean? I just think people should wake up and smell the fucking coffee and listen to what they're being spoon fed. Mm. You know, and like it's great if the, the life and doings of an Ascended Master inspires you. Or the teachings, life and teachings Inspires. of the ascended ma- or the masters of the Far East. That was a really good set of books, you know. It was like they had good. T- that was fine. But what I'm saying is, this whole thing of Mister Mariah or El Camachi or whatever their fucking names are, are going to tell me how to live and tell me how to get out of here. I'd be no. looking at what's behind that little light. No way. Well, no fucking. Yeah. Way. Again, it should serve as an inspiration, not as a dogmatic teaching. Beautifully. Just like anything else. Nice yeah. word porn, darling. Beautifully put. I feel above the oh, having telling a myself you. Don't. <laughs> right, darling. So that would yeah. be becoming unpredictable, wouldn't it? Not buying mm-hmm. the false light bullshit dogma. Well, feeling good about yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel good about that too. It's a little bit controversial, I know. But, you know, fucking wake up and smell the horizon. It's a coming, Mm. people. 